Hello and welcome, I'm Aruba, thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Brandenburg in Europa Universalis 4. So, we are going to build up our navy a bit. Again, I'm still going to play greedy and, and just build nothing but trade ships. <laughs> because that's just what I do. Um, how are we looking on local autonomy? We've got 6% or 10% you know, or less, so there's nothing I can really do about it. And we do have quite a bit of revolt risk in these provinces. I think we can afford to wait the eight months for war exhaustion to just tick down. Autonomy decreased will expire when? 1529. So it's never going to go away. Um, what would be really nice right now would be a stability reducing guy or a unrest reducing guy, which, yeah, we'll totally take. Better relations over time, I really feel like we need him to get the aggressive expansion down. Morale of armies guy. We're not going to be at war for a bit, and I really want to power through this idea group. And we're still making positive money. Let's just go level 3. And we also have the decision to pass some things. We can introduce church taxes. Uh, no. And superintendents. Hell yeah. To the end of the game, an extra minus one national unrest. Sweet, dude. That sounds awesome. So now, now, we have 4.8 years of time. Stettin is the only one with actual negative revolt risk. Or sorry, positive revolt risk. So we'll park the army in Stettin. Now we're losing money. Or, well, we were last month because we had to pay Denmark. We'll make even more money soon once we get these guys protecting trade. Protect trade in Lubick. Um, let's detach damage to get the majority of them working. And we actually have a couple galleys in here. Let's go ahead and get rid of them. And we'll get rid of the transport too. It means we have four available force limit. We've got one in being built. Let's build um, one here. I just want all light ships. I almost always play that way. And I just, I feel like it's usually the better way to play. Because you spend so much more time protecting trade than you do fighting. And eventually, we might need some heavies, but... Rebel Uprising, 85%. Yep, we know. So, we're still making 10 ducats a month, even though we hired a level 3 and a level 2. So we're making a lot of money. Checking the ledger for income. Burgundy, Castile, France, England, Brandenburg. We're in, what, 6th place for income. Which is not bad, considering how small we are. You need to move to Stettin. And we need to build another infantry. Now, hold on. Why is the infantry 11 ducats? Oh, poor iron. Hmm. How the hell did that happen? Stupid event. Oh, well. Cost of reducing war exhaustion, minus 20%. It's okay. Brandenburg will prevail. We're going to come back stronger than ever. I'm thinking we might want to fabricate a claim on uh, the Teutonic Order, since they're one of the few people that we don't actually have a truce with. We could go take that. We're almost to the point where we're going to pick up Diplotech, and then we'll try out either selling ships or upgrading ships. I should probably have not built these boats, come to think of it. Oh well, they already started. Okay. Looking at 7.1 years now. Pretty unlikely. Only a 3.1% chance of advancing the progress. Okay. Um, January comes around. We take the tech. No more boats. Actually, two more boats in route. Okay. We've got one more manpower. We'll just... No, we'll train it up there. The country needs him. We'll let him stay at home. I think we'll let him stay at home. Or iron has expired. Good. Stop paying quite so much. 
Now the extra leader, what are we going to do about him? Do we want to, I don't want to fire either of them. They're both really good at their respective jobs. About the only other thing we could do is uh, send some privateers. But I don't think you can. I don't think you can do that if you have a truce. Apparently we can. Okay, so if we privateer our own node, we can potentially save that. Yep, that'll do it. 26, that at least gives us one more military point per month for a while. It's probably going to hurt our income. Yeah, costs us like three ducats. So we're paying three ducats for one military power. I think that's a good deal. And we're just in full-on recovery mode. Still September. Okay, October. Oh crap, it actually advanced to 90%. Darn it. I really don't want to have to deal with this one. Is this one going to change anytime soon? Nationalism will go down. The autonomy decreased is going to be a long time. 25 more years. Alright. What else can we do? We could reduce inflation right now. We're ahead of time on admin tech, but not by much. But, inflation's bad. And it only gets worse. We'll do it. Just make sure I'm not crazy. There's nothing we need to core or convert, is there? No, I think our religion is uh, looking pretty good. We're at 100% unity. What's our, um... What is it, like, where is it spreading? Is, this, is ours working on this? The religion will be converted due to a nearby. Why that one? Wow. Interesting. It's just, it's all over the place. Okay. How long on the coalition? On the truce? Build the 12th. Okay, eight more years of peace to recover. On halt has collapsed. Alright, doesn't affect us. Just more infantry. Don't want to get any costly cavalry quite yet. Now, some people were suggesting maybe we should just go for forming Germany. Country changes to Germany, we gain a claim on the German region, which I think is pretty big. This is the German region. Westphalia region. German region, German region. German region's pretty big. <laughs> I mean, we could go for Germany. Forming the Kingdom of Prussia. Um, can you do both? Is not a subject nation, owns the right things. I think maybe we can. Maybe we can form Prussia and then Germany, just so we get the bonus base tax. It looks like we could potentially... Maybe not. Maybe if you become the wrong culture. I don't know. Doesn't matter. Hey, okay, we got a lot of free diplomats. We got a lot of freaking diplomats, man. What are we gonna do all these with? Um, hey, Hungary. Sure, the Ottomans. Why not? We have the we have the power. 
Austria we're already working on, England. We'll top off England even though I don't think we have an alliance with them right now. We'll just improve relations with people all around us. We almost have a claim on the Teutonic Order. I'm thinking it's possible that we could actually attack them. They're allied with the Livonian Order and the Hansa. The Hansa's one province though. Teutonic Order is on Tech 8 to our Tech 6. We're still allied with Poland, though. Problem is that they have a claim on it, too. But if we got there first... Maybe. The comeback. The comeback will be strong. Alright, it is, it is time to take uh, Dipo Tech 9. Nice long ahead-of-time penalty, or ahead-of-time bonus on that. Make sure our merchants are in the right spot. I think they're doing fine. Trade bat mode, very laggy. Okay, so we have a button now to upgrade our whole fleet. And to do that, we have to be in port. So out of curiosity, if we were to go dock, it would cost 140 ducats, which is seven lights times 20 ducats a piece. So you pay full price. Let's just see if it's possible to, like, I don't know, sell ships to somebody. Brandenburg has no fleet in England, English supply range. Okay, how about, like, Lundberg? Sure I do, what are you talking about? Is it because they're not in, a, in sea? How about now? Oh, come on, your supply range, you, you've got supply, I know you do. It's kind of weird. Alright, it's like... Lundberg, whatever. Bremen. Why is it that the chance is, is zero? Anyway, okay, so like, the second fleet. If we were to sell you the second fleet, seven barks for the sum of, say, 140, which is what they're worth, the answer is no, and because of their hostile attitude. If they weren't hostile, they would buy them. That's pretty cool. Okay, um, let's find someone who's not hostile. Let's go try and sell them to England. England might buy them, yeah? England is in debt. Oh, come on. Price is above their treasury and the fact that they're in debt. Hey, Scotland. You totally want to buy this fleet, don't you? It's above your treasury and you are in debt. Okay, I need to find someone who's not in debt. Prices above their treasury in there and everyone's in debt. France. Prices above the French treasury. You guys don't keep much money. Okay, so here we go. So like I could sell seven ships for a hundred ducats. And they would buy it. In fact, if they had more money, they would they would pay more. It's not about anything other than, than the treasury. Okay, let's check the ledger and see if we can find someone who has a good, a good amount of money. Portugal does have money, as does Norway. How does Norway feel about us? Yeah, they're neutral. Okay, the fact that they're neutral... What was England again? Because England was the only one that was willing to accept. No, sorry, it was, uh, it was France. Okay, neutral was on there too. Alright. Maybe Portugal. Here's what I'm thinking, is that we just sell the entire navy to somebody. And just rebuild new ones. Because that way we're we're upgrading for free. Sure, we miss out on some of the trade power from them for a few years. Maybe it'd be better to sell them half at a time, but... Why, uh, because the Hans is hostile. 
England's in debt. It's either going to be Portugal or Norway, I think, are the only two that we could even consider. Let's send this navy down and go check out if, what, if Portugal would buy them. Because Portugal probably likes us. We should improve relations with them. Probably close enough, right? Crap, I need a guy. Oh, we've recently sent a diplomat. Crap. Here, buy my ships. They would pay... Almost 140. See, if we just had some people that were friendly to us, it'd be even better. Sure, I'll sell these seven ships for 120. Suffer a little bit of inflation, whatever. Portugal has accepted our offer to buy the rather worthless second fleet. <laughs> it's awesome. That is so cool. And now uh, we'll build the best navy ever. In the place that has the shortest time, which is going to be just 208 days. It's fine. We'll start from there. Okay, cool. Alright, that was fun. I like that. I'm going to take a break here. I will see you, I hope, in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.